Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're gonna be installing these Advent Black mid-frame air deflectors right here. Now, I've been wanting these for a while, and there's two reasons why. I don't wanna get stuck in 95 degree weather in the summertime, and also, they just make your bike look a little bit cleaner. Now, it should be a simple install. Advent Black has provided us with all the nuts and washers and bolts and stuff. Both mid-frame deflectors do come labeled inside with right or left, and they also do come with that Advent Black logo right there on the inside. Now, it's gonna be a simple install, guys. These do come with two holes that we're gonna need to obviously attach it onto the frame right here. First hole is right here, right after the frame makes its bend. That hole does come threaded, so yes, the one on the bottom does not. But Advent Black does provide us with this filler right here. The inside is threaded, and the way it's shaped, it kind of stays pretty snug in that hole right there. So as you can see right here, also, that gets threaded in there like that. Now, first things first, what you want to do first is pop this open right here. This is your spark plug wire, but it gets attached right here to your uh, frame, but this pops right out. Don't worry about reusing this because it's going to clip on to the back of the air deflector as well. We just want to make space there for us to work around it. So that spark plug wire is going to latch onto right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the bottom one, which is our filler. You might have to just play around with it. Make sure it fits good in there. Um, it will be a little loose, but once we thread uh, the other screw in, it'll expand on the inside and it'll tighten up. We'll take our washer and our bolt, put it right over the top. Um, take our air deflector, put it right over there. And then we'll just hand tighten the bottom up real quick just to get everything in place. There we go. Just take our other washer and nut, and we'll start with the top. Just go ahead and hand tighten that in. Make sure before you go ahead and start wrenching down, that everything aligns really good, nothing's out of place, so that looks really good right there. We'll take our wrench right here, and we'll just start tying this down here. Remember that this is plastic, so you don't wanna go crazy on this. Just enough to tighten it down. Right after everything's nice and tight in there, you wanna take your spark plug wire and just clip that into the back uh, so it can be nice and snug and clipped in just like that. And you're all set. Now we'll go ahead and we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, so on this side, you're gonna to want to do the same exact moves. I went ahead and I put this towel here in case this bolt or washer falls out and gets into those nasty little crevices that we all so much hate, so. Yes, yeah, so if you want to do that for the front, go ahead. Back here is just a little bit more uh, trickier, if you want to say, because the engine is just closer to the frame than this side. I already went ahead and I put the bottom bolt in. I'm just trying to put the one on top. It's giving me a bit of a, oh, there it goes. I just couldn't get it in there before. <laughs> So if 
you don't have one of these joint sets, this is when these things really do come in handy. I technically use these a lot when I do my exhaust installs or whatever, but it makes it really easy for you to get into those areas where you have those hard to reach nuts and bolts at. And um, we're pretty much done over here. I just gotta wipe this down real quick, take my fingerprints off of it, and uh, give you guys some shots. <laughs> wiping that one little surface area and then you just end up wiping the whole bike down um yeah she's she's clean i like to keep her clean all right i do ride but she's always clean um pretty nice simple easy install for anyone to do at home it's only gonna take you a few minutes and it's gonna help deflect that heat that comes off these hot hot engines in the summertime and then it just like i said before makes your bike look a lot nicer it runs really nice down with the frame lines right here um and it just adds a little character little 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 touch those little little touches go a long way um so huge shout out to advan black um great stuff i also forgot to mention that these things do also come color match so depending on the color on your bike just tell them what color it is they'll send it to you whatever color you want so if you guys are interested in getting these mid-frame deflectors or anything else from advan black i'm gonna be linking down their website down below go ahead click on there see what they have and that's it thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace